to another episode of The Sims 4 Get to Work. This is episode 119, and as you can see, the house is popping. This is from the party. People are still here, and Brad, uh, Hunter just got home, and people are still here. You can't tell me that this party was a bronze party, and people are still here. It is 12... 55. I don't remember what time we started this party. I think it was like 12. I don't know why, why I want to say like it was 12 or 1. Um, I guess I got to go back and look at the video. But I mean, people are still here. Like seriously, every single person we invited, including the, um, oh, we have a dislike with her, including the, um, the caterer. And I want to even say the mixologist is still here. Um, or maybe not. Maybe she's not here anymore. I know she was at one point because I was just sitting here watching in awe. I was like, I cannot believe people are still here. Um, I fixed the money. Uh, right now they have 10,000 simoleons and I'm going to probably tweak that again because um, I don't know. Uh, I want him to actually sleep, not nap. He needs to go to sleep. But um, but yeah. Oh, and someone's in our room. <laughs> girl really really though deborah really and then kendall's coming up here now too i'm telling you you can't tell me that this was a bronze party this was not a bronze party nobody wants to go unless i've locked the doors and people don't know how to get out which i don't think i did yeah set as front doors already set front door i can't lock it people just don't want to go i mean even jerica is still here speaking of which doesn't she look stunning she got a slight makeover I did the little modifying cast cheat thingamajiggy. Are you going to sit in front of my darling girl here? Really? Really? Who is that anyway? Did we invite? Who is? Who? Wait. Seriously. Who, who is that? Who? I don't remember inviting her. No, seriously. Who? Who is that? No, for real, y'all. Who? I don't remember inviting another redhead. Um, we didn't invite Kat. We didn't invite her. Oh my God, I am so serious. I don't think we invited her. If we did, I don't remember inviting her. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm going to have to look back at the video. See, I don't remember inviting Katarina Meyer. She's not even anybody that we even know. Is it anybody? You know what? I can tell you right now whether we invited her or not. Because Hunter, it was from Hunter's guest list. So let's see if we even know a Katarina Meyer. We might have a party crasher. Oh my gosh. We totally... I'm looking, I'm checking it out, I'm checking it out. We totally had a party crasher. Wow, we had, I have never had that happen before. We had a party crasher. Somebody came, let me see if Harrison even knows who this girl is. Like, seriously? Why are all these, okay, he knows her, but he didn't set the party up, Hunter did. I, I'm gonna have to double check that. I'm serious, I don't think we invited her. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive we didn't invite her. And she's like still here, but, um, What's her? Oh, is this something broke? Are you serious already? Uh, oh, this is the joys of owning a home, or at least having a home. I feel like the um, the landlord should come over here and fix this, but technically we don't know the landlord. Like talking about, <laughs> like the the story is they're renting, right? Yeah, but I don't know the landlord like that. I really don't. Um, why? I don't know why people are still here. Um, it's weird because I'm like, is it a glitch? Oh, she is still here. I thought she had left. Amira, it's 235 and people are still hanging. Uh oh, people are still hanging out. Yeah, this party was a success. Either this house is like just the bomb or, um, yeah, people just really enjoyed the party. Um, I kind of feel like Hunter should wake up and go grab Jerrica. Um, we should totally kick this girl out the room though. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to go grab Jerrica really quickly. Since we're still, she's still here. Obviously, she wants something from him, right? Okay, is people leaving now? No? Really? Um, I'm going to make a move on her. And then, um, I don't want to ask her to be as, I don't want to do the, I don't want to invite to stay the night either. I don't feel like he would do that. Let's make out. And then, um, I mean, she's still here. She obviously wants it. Oh, that sounds so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. She obviously wants it. I mean, she's still here. I guess we can look deeply into her eyes. Let's look deeply into her eyes. Uh, look deeply into eyes. Uh, he's like, girl, you stayed here for me when I got off from work at my job that you don't know. He can woohoo with so many people here. Okay, just her. Okay, I'm he can probably woohoo with a mirror if he wanted to. Um, he'll take care of these people when he goes in there because that's what they do. They tell them to shoot. 
They tell him to shoe. Yeah, they tell him to shoe. I cannot believe this party. You can't tell me. Like, this is like the perfect party. These people do not want to go. Look how she's looking at him. Oh, she likes it. She's like, boy. She's like, you waited here for me. You waited till I got off from work, girl. You know you wanted some of this woohoo and loving. Yeah, you know you did. <laughs> I'm going to give them their privacy. Harrison, on the other hand, has work tomorrow. So I am not going to wake him up and interrupt him from sleeping because like in a couple hours, he has to go to work. I'm going to have him grab some eggs and toast. What does he have to do to get ready for work? Oh, he just has to do things when he gets to work. Okay. So um, I don't want to, I do want to go with him to work, of course, because we want to see, I have never played the police person, police person. I didn't even sound right. I have never played that. Um, okay. Are they going? She's like rubbing his shoulder like a, Look, Kendall is in. Girl, if you don't go. Okay. Oh, Harrison, you woke up? I didn't really need you to wake up, though, dude. Oh. Okay. Did she like that? I don't want you to nap. Oh, he's giving his cousin a hug. I, I want you to woohoo with her. That's what I had said. That's what I had suggested originally. Go woohoo and go get you a nap. Go get you a nap in. Um, I cannot believe. Like, this is the ultimate party house you can't even tell me i still don't understand how we got a bronze i'm so serious like how did we get a bronze and people are still okay well look like people are thinning out a little bit now joseph's still here and i'm surprised their parents aren't calling for them <laughs> why isn't chandler and everybody calling for them um i want to say that they've woohooed before let's see i want to say he has yeah okay that's what i was thinking i think he's only she's the only person he's woohooed with i think Unless he's done some things behind my back off camera. He's going to shoo her away. Watch this. He's going to be like, girl, if you don't get out of my room, get out of my room. Okay, Amira and Aiden are leaving, look like. He's going to make her get out of the room. Look, get out. Look, he's like, get out. Like, seriously? Um, De Deborah Barclay, an adult? Oh, my gosh, she's not leaving. Can I reset her? Okay, good. She's leaving. I'm about to say, I was about to reset you, girl. If you don't get out of my room. If you don't get out of my... Wait, really? You're just going to stand right there? Ooh, you little freaky McDeaky. <laughs> She's like, I'm just going to stand over here and let y'all have y'all space. <laughs> That's not how it works, Deborah. You really leave. Can I reset her for real? Can I reset her? I don't know if I can. Oh, no. <laughs> she just, she's not locked in there, is she? Because earlier I had locked the door and Joseph got stuck behind there. See, no, it's not locked. It's going to probably... Oh, Amir's... No, don't you walk in, Amir. Don't you walk in. Amira would be like a little bit disturbed that he's in here with Jerrica. Okay, good. She left. Golly. Look, everybody is still here. I, I don't, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what's going on. I hope this isn't like a glitch, but I need y'all to go home. That's like one of those things like you ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. You got to get out of here. Um, <laughs> this is like the ultimate party house. Oh my God. Nobody wants to leave. Like, does this house have like a cheat attached to it where it's like, don't go, don't go. Don't go. He's stinky. He has to go to work in a couple hours. This is kind of sucks because I don't want him to go to work and people are still here. I feel like that would be like really, really weird. Um, I'm going to have him repair this toilet when he's done because, I mean, wow, Brandy's not even going. What in the world is going on? And Jerrica just straight came out here and did the walk of, they're over here. You know what? I got an idea. Turn that off. Now go home. They said they're going to be like, we'll just talk to each other. No, seriously, guys, what is going on? I want all these people out of my house. Like even the, okay, he's waving. Is he saying hi or bye? I, I, I don't know what's going And then this girl here with this computer. Okay, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. Because for some reason, she's like stuck on this computer. We're putting that in our inventory. Now, you have nothing to do in my house. Go home. <laughs> you have nothing to do. Why aren't these people leaving? I feel like this is like the dinner party, the house party from H-E-L-L, -L, like for real, in the most polite way possible. I was not expecting this. I was not. And Harrison's down here taking a bubble bath like a little kid. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Um, well, hopefully while we're at work, everyone leaves and gets a life it's outside of ours because, um, yeah. That's really odd. I need him to repair this. We're going to repair it. Um, all right. He should be clean now. And he needs to use the restroom. So that works really good. So he's going to repair it. And then he's going to use it as soon as he's done repairing it. This 
this is empty, sweetie. You're bringing me a piece of paper. Yours is over there. You see your cup? Cup. Say cup. No, no cup. He's looking, but he's not going. He's looking, but he's not going. No cup. No cup, no cup, no cup. No cup, no fuss. Whatever, whatever. Um. Okay, come on, dude. I need you to finish up quickly. Because I need you're going to need to get something to eat and everything before you go to work. If not, we're going to grab a plate to go with us. Because, um, yeah, so he should be going in and out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He probably will not have time to eat. So I'll probably just grab a plate to go with us. And I hate for his first day on the job, he's going to be, like, having to take a break as soon as he gets to work. But um, it should be fine. Okay, cool. All right, so he needs to use that. And I'm just going to do him a favor really quickly. And do we have a trash can? I really want to know why no one's leaving. I don't know that we have a trash can here. You know what? I don't think we do. Can I put this over here in this trash can? There's a trash can over here. I can. Perfect. Oh, wait, no, it didn't go. Can I? It's saying, yeah, but it's not letting me do it. Okay, I think I did it. Okay, I think I did it. All right. Um, look, he's like thinking about the party. Like, man, this is like the longest party ever. Uh, oh, he's going to hug his brother. Well, that's sweet. Um, really quickly, I'm just going to grab him something out of this refrigerator to put in his pocket. Let's see, something that's going to last quite a bit. Um, we'll just take the eggs and toast. I'm going to put it in his, I think I could do this. Can I drag, I can't drag it out. Are you serious? I'm going to have him grab a serving. Go do that really quickly, dude, because you need to eat something. I would like for him to go up fully needed, fully need, um, what is going on? Okay, go take a shower, honey. Go take a shower. He's taking a shower. I cannot believe everybody is still here. This is so odd to me. I don't. I hope I didn't like trap them in the house. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but I've never had that happen before where we have a party. Like literally, I'm gonna get like a, an achievement pretty soon. It's gonna be like the longest party ever, like a 24-hour party. Um, I might tweak this kitchen because I really don't feel like the, the the thing should be that big. And doesn't Joseph and them have to school and stuff like? Yeah, okay. It looks like some people have thinned out, but I really don't think. So, yeah, because everybody's sitting up here. All right, so we are joining Harrison at work. <sighs> I'm really weirded out that everybody's, like, at the house. I don't know if I should just, like, go into the household and, like, make them go home. I don't know. Hopefully that's not, like, a glitch. No, I've had parties before. That's never happened. I don't know. That's It's weirding me out, though, to say the least. I'm going to be honest with you. It is weirding me out. Just a little bit. <laughs> Especially because it was just supposed to be like a housewarming, like, hey, this is our new crib. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like so weirded out right now. Anyway, if we go back home and people are still there, there's an issue. You know, you know what I mean? Like there is like a serious issue. Um, but hopefully I'm planning on, on this part. And I didn't, I feel like we're 13 minutes in and I just wanted to start when he went to work, but definitely want to get him a good day of work in. And then I kind of want to take a mirror out on a date. Uh, I don't know how things are going to go with him and Amira. I don't, he doesn't seem like, he doesn't strike me as the type of sim guy to like date around and everything. When he has his sight sets on something such as the police academy you know he just goes for it but anyway welcome to the force it's time to start fighting crime first things first use a computer to get a case assignment alrighty so like I said I have never played this before so bear with me uh -oh. as I maneuver around um he's doing pretty good need wise he's pretty much in the green for everything but I am going to really quickly take a picture of our guy he seems like he's so excited oh I didn't mean to do it this way I meant to do it in the tab yo so I like I like the tab Aw, yes, Harrison. Congratulations. He's been wanting to do this for a while. Like, you have no idea. So, look like he's going to do it. Are you? Oh, he's going to browse the web. I'm going to say, are you serious, guy? He's just like that type of guy. So, oh, Brandon's here. We should totally, oh, you know what's funny? We actually have, like, a good relationship with our boss because our boss is, like, our stepdad. How awesome is that? I'm going to talk. Well, let's, let's get a case Simon first. We don't want to suck up to the boss already. All right, one of you guys need to get up off the computer here. Sometimes when you just go click it, I guess I need to go here. Okay, never mind. It, it was coming up then. Let's uh, get a case assignment. Here we go. So I'm going to let him go on and go in here and do that. Did he grab that food and bring it? Nope, he did not. Okay. Oh, I got to put our picture up in our bedroom. I forgot about that. Um, 
So we're definitely going to grab a case assignment. But I do want to talk with Brandon. Look at Brandon. Oh, my God. It's so funny because we know him. Like, we really know him. Like, no. Like, we really know him. He's like the, our, our husband, our, our mother's husband. Like, that's crazy. So you know he got a chance to pull some strings to let Harrison get into this academy. Like, not even joking you. Like, you know that happened. There's no way, like... Brandon was not going to let his his stepson get in this um, get in this program. There's no way he wasn't going to do that. He was going to make sure that he got in the program. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, let's put these walls down so I can see what's going on. So what they got going on? We're getting our case assignment right now, and it seems like it's about what is it about? Uh, I don't know what it's about. Uh, look like he's vacation. Look like he's on Expedia. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's like book your beach getaway. That's what it looks like. All right. So we got a case assignment. Assist with the crime scene. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. Alrighty. Really quickly. What is a crime map? I'm assuming. Yep. Yay! I have watched a couple YouTube videos of people playing this part, so I kind of know a little bit, but I've never done it myself. And um, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Get to Work has been out for a long time, and I remember when it first came out and people were doing the videos on it. That's when I saw it. So, I mean, clearly it's been, I mean, we have a whole nother EP now. So clearly it's been a while back. It was a long time ago. Yes, it is. Um, but I am I am enjoying playing. I don't know why. This family is going to always be near and dear to my heart. I've just been enjoying playing it. I don't know when it's going to stop. I'll be honest with you. Because, I mean, after this little series, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm going to continue playing them. I don't know how or when or where or why or with who. Because I have so many aspects at this point. We have... Um, it's just a large family. It really is. We have... So many, as you can see from the party, like half the people there were like cousins. And that wasn't even all of them because some of them haven't aged up yet. Like Sloan hasn't aged up yet. Um, our brothers haven't aged up yet. So that's like at least four kids. And then, you know, I'm sure what's, oh, oh, what in the world is this? All right. So we travel to the crime scene. We want to collect clues at the crime. Is this a clue? Uh, that's the evidence. Sample. Okay. I guess we could take a picture um wait wait a minute this is next door to our house i was like wait a minute this house looks familiar i didn't think anybody lived here and this guy's over here reading a book dude are you doing your job um let's go well okay what do i need to do collect clues at the crime scene i'm assuming that i'll just take an evidence picture does it say clues is this a clue Okay, I'll just take samples, I guess. I don't know. So we take a bunch of samples. I guess once I take the picture. Okay, let's see how this goes. Lord, I, I'm just like all over the place. There's clothes strewn around. There's a body thingy, majiggy. There's a broken, somebody broke something. Um, let's collect evidence sample. Um, that's Lucia. I was thinking that too. I was like, that's uh, one of uh, the Bradley boys. Um all right, so we're taking pictures. It's working. Uh, let's take a picture of that. So we take three pictures and collect uh, five uh, samples here. Uh-oh, no, no, I can't do that. Okay, let's go collect. Did I get a collect evidence sample? Oh, wait, is this the girl from? Oh, no, no, no. I thought that was the girl from the party. These people over here are like, oh, somebody is super tense. Okay, I guess he is because collect evidence. Did I get that one already? I don't know if I did. Um, this looks like the work of a gang. Honestly, it looks like they just came in and vandalized your place. That's what it looks like to me. Let's go take a picture. Uh, there should be a witness around here somewhere. Oh, and the computer's broke. There's like all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Who is this? This looks like, oh, Chase Wu. Okay, uh, let's get one more sample. And then uh, there is, uh, oh, this is Jerrica's mom. Okay. Let's take a witness. What is Jerrica's mom doing here? And Jerrica was just next door. You know what? Speaking of which, is the party still going on? Are there people still at my house? Wouldn't that be crazy if people were still here? I'd be like, why are you guys still at my house? I don't even see. Um, oh, okay. It just obviously does not show. This house is boss though. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that house. Okay. So hopefully we're taking our, we're taking Jerrica's mom. I'm going to be like, hey, I know your daughter. This is a small world. Is Chase... Is that her 
boyfriend? I don't know. All right, return to the police station. How does one return? Ah, Destiny didn't provide much, but maybe it'll fit into the case somewhere. Okay, we'll go on and travel back to the crime scene. I was trying to decide if I should take some more reports, but I don't know that it would help since it doesn't ask us to do that many. It just asks us to do the one. I don't even know if Destiny lives there. That would mean Jerrica's our next door neighbor, and I don't think that's the case. I think that house was vacant. So I don't know what she was doing there, but let's put two and two together, or three and three. There was tons of, con not, not confetti, <laughs> there was tons of, um, what am I trying to say? Like uh, stuff on the floor, clothes are strewn about. I, You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a scorned lover coming in there, breaking all of the stuff and throwing clothes around and spray painting the floor and the walls. And then maybe planting evidence like there's a murder. Yeah, Chase, I think you are dealing with a bit of a um, indecent, not indecent proposal, <laughs> not indecent proposal. What is it called? Uh, fatal attraction. Okay, now that you've gathered, gathered. Yes, indeed. Okay, now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use chemical now and analyzer and computer to evaluate evidence. Okay. All right, so successfully use the chemical analyzer. <laughs> We're going to go do that, uh, whatever it's called. We, I do want to go talk to Brandon eventually, just because I feel like uh, we need to go say hi, you know? Uh, oh, it's paused. I'm like, why isn't anybody doing anything? So um, I do want to talk with him at some point, uh, discuss case theories. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it up there, just so I can go talk with him and suck up to him really quickly. I'm gonna hug him as well. Uh, who is this lady? You better not be flirting with my stepdad. Um, what is he doing? Okay, we're analyzing evidence evidence sample. People are gonna be like, is that the chief's stepson? Yes, it is. It sure is. It's the reason why he wanted to become a police officer. It was all Brandon. It really was. He just saw something in Brandon that he just really, really liked. Um, I mean, this really looks like something. I'm telling you, look at that. I mean, he's really good at this, though. He's rocking and rolling. All right. Well, you know what? We're doing pretty good to say we're not even at half the day, and we're like halfway through our curse course. Course. I'm about to say course load like we're in school, our case load or our workload rather. So I think we're doing pretty good considering we will not have to stay late. So that's good. I feel like my first time I played um, the doctor for sure. I remember having to stay late. Uh, I thought I successfully used. I didn't. Oh, gosh. Okay. I guess I didn't successfully use. Okay. Well, I'm wasting time now talking, sucking up to the chief right now. So. He's like, am I doing this right? Wait, no, don't give me no, no. I guess Brandon's like, look, I know you're my stepson, but I still have to. Well, he had negative stuff right now. I guess he didn't like my theory of the scorned lover. That's fine. We'll go back to the case. We'll go back. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, stepdad. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it's funny. I just thought about it. I never went to work with Brandon. I probably could have just to see what it was like. Because um, clearly he has to go to work. Who is this guy? Don't talk to me. Bry Bryson Holman? Bryson? That's a nice name, Bryson. I like that. Um, there's a lot of elderly people that work here. So we're having a, such a hard time doing this chemical analyzer right here. Um, hopefully this isn't what pushes us over the edge. I'm going to be really mad if this is what pushes us over the edge. Um, what can... Uh, what can he be working on? Oh, he just needs to care for himself. He's just not in a good mood. Can we build skill mischief? Okay, he could do that. It still didn't do anything? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. And I was, you know what? I spoke too soon. I was bragging about the fact that we were doing so well. And clearly, we're not. Clearly, he is sucks at this chemical an analyzer. I keep on saying an analyte. No, I'm saying it right. Analyzer. I don't, I don't know. It's like when you got to do tongue exercise. Because right now I'm like all tongue twat. Tongue <laughs> Almost like tongue twied. I'm not tongue twied. I'm tongue tied. All right. Did we get it now? He did like a yes. 
moment, did he not? Okay, nice work. Wow. Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use computer to file the crime scene evidence so the senior... Alrighty, well, we did all the hard work and now we got to pass it off to somebody else. Let's see if there's a computer available and there's not. We're just going to take Miss Rosemary Haywood's computer. Why not? We're going to file crime scene evidence here. Um... And then it says we have to go on patrol, but um, I don't know that we'll do that today. It says that we have to do it. I guess this is every day we have to do this. Oh, she doesn't like the fact that I'm booting her off her computer. But you know what? I'm the step, I mean the chief's stepson. Get it straight, lady. Get up. Get it. Really? Really? Okay. So we're clearly, she's clearly not giving us that computer. I'm wasting, oh, okay. I'm about to say I'm wasting so much time. So much time. I probably won't be able to go on patrol today um, unless we go really quickly and come back. All right. Okay. Get it together, guy. Man, I was just, <laughs> that's what I get for bragging about us doing so well. All right. Good. Hunter is reaching a mischief level number five. Um, good work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of this case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow you'll learn about the next steps in a case. For now, take some time to help process criminals here at the station. So we're not going to be able to go on patrol. There's no way. Um, file crime scene evidence at computer. Well, since we're sitting here, let's go in and file. Uh-oh. File crime scene evidence. Okay, let's go and do that since we're sitting here. Because if we give the computer up, you know, goodness, it'll be like somebody else will probably end up grabbing it. Okay. Um, search criminals at the booking station. Oh, this will be fun. Let's see who's over here. I, this is the booking station right here. Uh, let's go. Uh oh. Release from cell. Uh, okay. These girls look, come on. I need the, gen the, the generator to do a little bit more. Let's just do Rowan. Do a little bit more, um, what you call it? A little bit more, uh, imaginative here and I think I need to go over here if I remember correctly and uh search the suspect oh I could have just done it like that let's do that and then we're going to also take mug shot of the same suspect and then we're going to fingerprint the same suspect all right so go take care of that and while he does that I'm gonna put uh oh why is he just standing here Oh, come on. We were doing so good, Harrison. Get it together. Okay. Ooh. All right. Hopefully, we'll get this guy out quickly and fast in a hurry. We have like three hours, I'm thinking. Oh, no. Almost two hours. So, we're getting rowing somebody here. Look, they could just sneak out right here. Look, this guy's over here sleeping. Norman Nagy. So, I'm not getting him? Am I not getting him? Am I getting him or no? <laughs> I'm like, am I getting him or no? Am I getting him or no? Okay, so we got him. I don't want to stay late, though. I really don't. Okay, what are we doing? We are searching him. And then we're going to fingerprint him. And then we're also going to take a mug shot. Hopefully we can get all this done. And I'm going to scooch on up in here and take some pictures. Because, I mean, it's not every day that your boy, your baby boy becomes a police officer uh oh and this is not a good picture all right uh, i think i got it good look he's like officer really i don't have anything on me <laughs> i wonder what he found on him awesome awesome love it love it love it i love the animations i don't know why <laughs> Wait, where are we? That almost gave an a clue to where we are. Can we go over here? Like, can we walk over here? Oh, we could. Where are we, though? I always wonder when you go to these little places, like, where are we at? Um, okay, he's uncomfortable. Why? Oh, from searching a suspect. He doesn't. He did not like that. <laughs> okay, really? He's going to, like, pose for the camera? He's, like, posing for the camera. That is so funny. That is so funny. All right. Now let's take his fingerprints really quickly. Um, no, not Norman. I want to take his fingerprints. Hold on. 
Harry says work day. Oh gosh. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, my phone is not here, so I don't know where my phone is. Oh, I had to do it for multiple people. Uh, how many more minutes? We got an hour left. Let's quickly go grab um, Norman Nagy here. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, Harrison. I, I don't want to stay late because I really, we might not have a choice today, but to stay late. Yeah, okay, shoot. We're going to stay late. Oh, I hate this. Okay, so let's grab Norman Nagy here. Oh, I did not want to stay late. I wanted to um, go take Amira out, but I see that the, um, the I'm at 30 minutes already, thanks to... Thanks to the party that never ended. <laughs> and hopefully, but you know what? I will stay with you guys. Sorry if this video is long, but I want to stay with you guys till we get home because I do want to see if um, if those people are still at the house. Um, so let's see. All right. We are, we took our fingerprints. Good, 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 good. He's not comfortable with the fact that we were so up close and personal with this guy. I don't know why though. Um, we're not going to pay extra shots for one hour. It's just not going to happen. And then we need to search him. All right, let's search him. We took our picture. Hopefully we'll gold this out in a second. And you know what? I wonder if I could just leave after we do this. Let's go search him really quickly. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, we should rock it out now, right? We should. I'm, I'm hoping so. Okay, good. No, we still didn't. Okay, let's go talk to the chief really quickly, um, which should be easy. We actually did that earlier, so now I wish we didn't do that. We kind of wasted time. Let's go discuss case theories, and then, you know, actually, we'll just we'll just hang out with him for a little bit. We'll uh, ask about day. Definitely not going to ask about salary. I, I don't want to uh, discuss dance techniques. We'll just chit-chat with him for a little bit. Um, it's funny because they look like they could be kin. They're not, but they look like they could. Oh, and he's like flirty. You know what's funny though? It's like every time he was at work though, he would always be flirty. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why he'd be flirty? I don't know. Are we done talking to him? Talk to him. Discuss case theories. Uh, discuss interest. Ask about day. I'm talking to him. Why is it not coming up? Um, discuss case. Uh, discuss work. I don't want to complain about work. Discuss work. Is he not the chief? Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking Brandon's the chief, y'all. I don't think. Well, he is the chief. Who is this guy? Oh, all right. Well, man, we didn't rock it out. Man, I don't know who that guy is that sat down then. I don't know if he was the chief. Could he have been the chief? I don't even know. That's weird. I don't know if that was the chief or not. I need to find my home phone, though. It keeps ringing, and I don't know where it's at. My son is, he's into talking on the phone now. So, you know, he's, like, always on the phone. And we have three phones in the house. And they're, for some reason, even though one will be in his room already, he'll go grab another one. And next thing you know, all three are in his room. So when the phone rings, I'm literally scrambling around trying to figure out where the phone is and I should just go to his room but it's upstairs and it's just it's too far for me right now I just do not feel like walking over there just do not so whatever um so we're gonna zoom in real quickly at home and I, I did want to take a mirror out tonight but he's gonna probably be tired and just want to hang out at home um but we'll definitely take the opportunity to take out a mirror another day I need to probably get a mirror a job okay oh and then Hunter's about to go to work um, he should probably go talk with Hunter. Oh, there's nobody here. Yay. Everybody left. Hunter probably kicked them all out. Like y'all got to go. <laughs> I'm going to ask Hunter really quickly about uh, his day and tell him about everything that happened on his first day of work. Complain about our problems. Like, oh, it was so hard. I cannot believe I was supposed to get off at five. I stayed two. Did he, was he supposed to get off at five? He stayed two extra hours. Like that is torture. I want to ask him about his day. What did you do today? Um, oh, I can tell a dramatic story. Tell him about the fact that Jerrica's mom was over at Chase Wu's house. What's that about? <laughs> What's that about? Why was he over there? And then I can have him just, oh, he can't do anything else. Okay. 
he's just going to wait for his brother to come up here and talk to him. But he wants to donate some money, so we are going to take care of that. And I'm going to put the computer back over here <laughs> in, this, in this room here. Um, I hate when they do that. Why are you waving to him from up here? That's like so not realistic. Uh, he's getting on up there, but I'm going to go on and end this part since it's already over 30 minutes. I promise you, I always try to make it short or shorter than what it always ends up being. And it's not, um, but it is what it is. Uh, he goes to work in 13 hours. We got to do this all over again, Harrison. I'm sorry. He's like not happy about it. We got to do this all over again. He didn't even know that his brother's a criminal. Isn't that sad? He has no idea. Um, so they're just going to sit and chit chat. He's like telling him this story about what happened at work today, how it was over in Chase Wu's house and your Jerrica's mom was there. Like what in the world is that about? Um, actually about this day. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up. I'm still talking, but we, oh, maybe that's the reason why I told me we had to pay for an hour. We need to get rid of this guitar. I don't want to have a house party every time we have a house party. Someone wants us to play an instrument. It's just not going to happen. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.